Mod check. Alright, test, test, test. <coughs> Come on. Alright, test, test, test. Oh, I'm like really soft, but this is like the loudest I can do, so hopefully it's chilling. Okay. Let's go, dude. Well, let's just make sure it's working. I haven't done this in a while. I'm, I'm logging in, I can't see the chat. I don't know if anything's actually been posted, but. Some security questions, but I've got. Just one sec. I think the, the chat's working. I have, I have no idea really, but um, if anybody's actually in here, could you like type something? Other than that, uh, I guess we can like get into it. Let's go, dude, we got, we got a chat. <laughs> okay, sick. Um, what's going on, boneless? Okay. Oh shit, we got the follow notification? Let's go. Alright, 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 alright. Okay, I guess we can just get started. Um, yeah, this is more kind of for me so I can like look back on it. And I want to like review this while my mind is still fresh, I guess. Um, last time after I did the legacy one, um, I reviewed it like a week after and I was just like criticizing all my plays, which was kind of like not great content, but, um, so that's why I'm trying to do it one day after or whatever. What's up DT Lurch? Okay. Yeah, I guess I can pull the deck list up as well. Or I guess that's probably too hard. Um, okay. So basically I, I was going to play, um, Doomsday for this event. But uh, I got like a little 
like I had a few drinks at my grandma's place and then um, I ended up not thinking I could play the deck well so I, I just um, audible to like some bizarre deck that I thought was like well positioned um, okay so our hands kind of just unplayable basically we're always gonna have to mold to this card so that's, that's what you're gonna see me doing um, it's good to keep notice of like what's not in our deck because of the powder so we don't have these hollow ones but um, yeah so we mold to a a hand that needs some more stuff to function but it's it's a seven with bizarre so we'll keep it of course um, they once upon a time for the ancient tomb so this is just the mono white initiative deck which i i really haven't played like any games of this format so i was just like seeing um where i could go with it um but i i i thought this was a good matchup coming into the um event i just like saw this deck list so be bizarre we're just gonna get rid of two either three guys I don't know, this, this deck kind of like plays itself, but th there was like some interesting decisions along the way. So we, we get Wasteland, which is kind of kind of bad, because um, we don't have anything else. But we have this Wasteland, we have like some forces, so we can rely on them getting like screwed out of this game, maybe. Draw the Vengeful on one turn too late. So I, I always upkeep it, just like Legacy, I don't know, it's just a habit. Draw another one. Um, yeah, I, I think I'm kind of lucky that they are only on Ancient Tomb so far, but. Cavern on Cleric. And I have another Waste. So yeah, it, like, if, if they would have had a Mox, I probably would have forced it or something, but since they didn't, I just kind of get to hold all my forces here, and now I drew a blue card, so I double up. They put it on Human now. <laughs> kind of interesting that they let on it on cleric and human maybe they were trying to get that one waste landed first so they cared about humans more yeah what's up cool but like these are these are the games sometimes i i don't actually know if i win or lose this game but like i just have shitters right now so they they mana crypt which okay i i, I honestly maybe should have forced this um just because like it's it's a mox like i was already gonna force it but it's like the one thing that i wouldn't have forced because it like this is gonna kill them i'm at 20 life with with some counter spells some action and i can put them to, to five here with like snap back on one of their creatures so then they're all they need to do is lose two flips so i let it resolve um uh, which we'll see if it's a mistake later but yeah they play thalia so i actually get like so punished um, but I, I can still put them to six here. So I, yeah, I, I basically can't cast any spells unless I can draw like a wasteland or something. I, I miss, but I put them to six, of course. And then they they solitude me, which is kind of bad because now that they're um, up one turn. But still, oh, and then doing it again. Like the second one was kind of useless in my opinion, but you know what I mean, whatever. Um, yeah, so they're at eight still. They stay at eight. I just don't do anything. Like I, I maybe could have lost if they played like. Um, this guy here, it's, it's like fast clock, but they didn't. I draw another blank, and now they play that. But they lost a flip, they're, so they're at five. So they lose a flip down to two. So I, I feel kind of confident. Well, like, in a sense, I guess I'm confident. I, I, they, I, they have two turns. But then they flash at this dude, and then they blow up their own thing, and I, and I lose. So, like, I, I probably should have just forced their mana crypt. Like, this this game was literally over if I probably forced the mana crypt. But, like, I don't know. I didn't really know how to approach this matchup, and I didn't, I didn't even know they ran this card, so. Whatever. Oh, what's up, twin? Yeah, no land. Dude, I had four lands, bro. Still lost. Yeah, so I can see it. Um, okay, that was the first match, the first game. Again, I was, like, really tired and, and didn't, like, I haven't played this deck for, like, six months, so, like, or maybe not that long, but it's been a while. So, I'm, they, they, um, they keep seven. I'm on five, but I'm powdering here. So, I just put back the two hollow ones. Maybe I should, should put back the, the fury. It's, like, whatever I put back, I can still draw for my next damn, so... Probably the Fury was honestly better, but 
Um, yeah, so we, we, we mold to this end, which is fine enough. Oh, I should probably say how I boarded. Yeah, like, I didn't actually have enough cards, so I had to keep in two forces and just try to, like, snag, like, a mox with this or something. But this card's, like, so bad because all, the, all their shit is, like, creatures. Um, maybe I could have played, like, these, but th they have, like, a lot of planes, so that's probably bad. And they didn't have Tabernacle. Um, okay, so I, I hit this. So I can't get back Vengevine's here, so I, I think I'm just going to just go, like, Vengevine, force Vengevine, and hope to, like, if they play a guy, I can draw a red card. Um, and I already have the Noxious for Wasteland, so I'm, I'm kind of covered. I just need to draw, like, more shit. Yeah, I think forcing Mox is, is pretty good, but, like, it's not, like, a cohesive game plan. It's just, like, kind of random. Because like, I don't even have that many blue cards, even. But, like, it's, it's good if it comes up or whatever. Um, okay. So I get it back. Oh, Drew's in here. What's up, dude? I'm just hoping to um, draw like any creature, but I, I, I miss. Like this is kind of a hard decision. I, I probably just have to hold on to this. Wait, what? I only had. Oh, wait, what? What just happened? Wait, did I just rip it? Oh, dude, that's so sick. Yeah, I, I noxious. Oh my god, I noxious back my bazaar, and he very macabre my Vengevon in the bazaar, and I just drew another one. I actually hit the 1 in 50, dude. Um, yeah, if, if I didn't draw that, I, I would have actually probably lost. Like, I would have definitely just lost. But, okay, but, but whatever, we, we play on. So, so now I only have one Vengevine. Um, yeah, so I, I keep my little shitter. They play two in pass, they have five cards. Dude, I, I can't, that was so lucky, dude. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I know, right? Oh, what's up, Itai? So I draw a Wasteland. Um, oh, I just waste, cause, cause like, I guess their hand is like, kinda shit. Cause, cause they're, they're like relying on their mana or whatever. Oh, but then they play this guy. Um, so I'm pretty sure I'm forced to, dude, I don't even remember this game, cause I was so tired. I'm pretty, yeah, so I'm, I'm for <laughs> let's go. Yeah, so I'm, I'm forced to cast my thing, or else my Vengevine's not gonna be ever brought back. And then I, I hit the other Rootwalla. And I get my nerd back. And I can attack because it's, it's still in the beginning of combat. But then they have a Solitude. Um, and they pitched a Thalia. Okay. But they, they have no lands. And I have a Bazaar. So I just need to fade like Wasteland and I'm probably winning. Because so I'm just drawing more cards. So I, I upkeep it because I have no cards in hand. Find a Master of Death. And then draw Fury which is pretty good. They, they play an Ancient Tomb now. Okay, so they missed their land drop last turn. I get back my thing. Uh. Oh, and then I hit the Giga again. Yeah. Okay, so I, I, I can cast this, and I can Fury their guy now. So I can get in, start attacking. They also have an Ancient Tomb as their land, so they're taking damage. My rating? Oh, well, my ELO, it was like 19... 57. Yeah, so they still don't have any white mana. Um, yeah, when, when I have these guys, like, even if I have one, I'm not going to bizarre in response, because I can always um, drop to two and then play this and go down to one card again, so it's, it's never bad. <laughs> okay, twin. Okay, twin. Yeah, so I, I just, I, I don't want to hold these anymore because I don't have any bench vines. So I just want to pl keep playing them out. But now I have two bizarres, so now I can't even lose to like Wasteland. And ba basically I'm just drawing like three cards a turn and they're drawing one. And this this is their land, so they're just like super under pressure here. Oh, what's up, Luca? Yeah, so they play Thalia, which is kind of cringe. But I think I just Noxious back the Fury because it's my, my best plan. I could also Noxious the Hollow one, but that seems worse. Oh, is it? Okay, my bad, my bad. Thanks for telling me. Yeah, okay. Like, this is actually the loudest I can do without me, like, screaming. Yeah, so I get the Fury back. I want to just draw, like, a red card so I can keep attacking. Even if I don't draw a red card, I could probably just attack. 
who like Narset enjoyers. Yeah, so I whiff because I'm super unlucky. And then I do it again because I'm just trying to hit more squeeze and shit. Um, Because like squee I could discard and then get it back for the red card, which is nice. So they have one wasteland. So like, I, if, if I draw a red, if I don't draw a red card here, I could actually lose to like another wasteland or something. <laughs> okay, twin. <laughs> okay, I draw, I draw the squee. It's too free. Uh, and then I have a I have a noxious as well in case they wasteland me. So they they just kind of are dobs. All right, game three. It was better before. Fuck. Shit. All right. Sh surely this is best. All right. So we're on the draw. Um, we keep it. We keep a four lander, and they keep seven. And they just pass on one, which is kind of free. Oh, and then I draw Vengevine because it's too free. And I also draw Fury. Yeah, so I, I just put my, my board into play. And, and they can Taming Priest, and I draw into the Force. Dude, if they just play this on, like, turn one, maybe I wouldn't have been so far ahead. Because I only had one blue card. Um, Karakas. Yeah, Karakas is just good. Also, it's good against, like, Hogak. Like, Hogak, like, you can't really beat an 8-8 with this deck. But I, I'd probably play, like, more, honestly. But I, the, the one was good enough, I guess. So they waste Lemmy, but, I again, I kept a four-lander, so I have another one. They just Luminarch. So I, I don't even need to Fury here, because, like, I can just wait, like, a turn. It doesn't really matter. Like, they're just dead. And then I think I just Wasteland them. I don't need to even do anything else. And then, yeah, my Fury cleans this up, and I win. Again, if they survive all my guys, I have the, the three squeeze. Okay, so I, I guess I, go, I got pretty lucky to, like, win that game. But, like, also in game one, I, I feel like I should have won, probably. And I kind of, like, threw, so, like, I don't know. I, I didn't play that great, but. Okay, so I powder this. Mulligan. 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 Powder. I just put back the Mind Break Trap and, like, the Squeeze, because that's the best thing that can get me out of, like, a multi four or whatever. I keep, I mean, all three of these cards are shit, but I can probably, like, fix my hand, maybe. Yeah, so this guy, I goldfished him, he's on Doomsday, which is, like, a really good matchup for me. I, I thought my hand was bad, I could have just, like, easily lost, though. So I, I get to, um, I get to keep Force plus Mind Rake Trap. And... I draw a squee, which is good. So I'll just do it now. Like, I maybe if I hit a hollow one, I could have discarded like this and just had one counter up plus play a hollow one. Because, like, their hand seems, like, really bad and slow. They mold to, like... Um... Oh, I guess they only mold to six. But, like, they only have four cards left in hand. Top Doomsday player has been called. Yes, yeah, so they just play Bizarre. I mean, Black Lotus. We draw a hollow one, and this is pretty good. Like, we don't care about the Noxious anymore. Um, and we can just play the hollow one. Still two counters up. Like, Mind Break might not be a counter, but still good enough. Oh, and we had a Vengevine randomly. They, they force pitch force. They're on um, two cards. They play Shield Rid off of Lotus. And I just let it resolve, because I suck, basically. But I, I definitely should have forced pitch Mind Break Trap on it. Because my plan was just to snap back it. And if they force, I would force back. But I forgot that they could just have like a Fluster Storm. And then I would I would literally lose. So I, I should have forced it and pitched the Mind Break Trap. But instead... Like I was just too scared of them like still comboing me or some shit. Yeah, it, it was literally heinous, dude. It was so bad. But like I, I didn't care about the life loss. So I, I just like drew for turn, I believe. Yeah, I pitched those three, and then snap back, and they just flustered me. And then, dude, this is so sad, bro. I cannot believe I lost this game. Like I, and, and then I end up actually fucking dying to the fucking shieldred. <laughs> oh, it was not a good look. And I only have like one fury in my deck, dude. I actually just can't wait.
can't beat it. So we, we play on a few more turns. I I can't lose to their combo, but like doesn't matter. I I'm not proud of this game. I was kind of like in shambles after I lost this one. But it was only like round two, so I didn't really care. I kind of just wanted to like drop and go to sleep or whatever. Yeah, so I don't get my my masters back because I'm not gonna go to six. Uh, you, you guys don't even watch this. I yeah I, I bizarre into three shits. All right, game two. That that was like pretty heinous. Um, yeah, not much to consider. I could have boarded out like the the noxious, but like sometimes they can mess with the doomsday thing, and they have a watery grave now, so like surgical on the on the water, on the underground sea isn't really good. Um, yeah, I don't know. Not much to consider. So I mold a six, and this hand's like kind of insane. And I could just... Oh, I powdered it. Okay. Yeah, they mold to six. So I, I can chalice, and then just bizarre now. I hit. Oh, I, I choose to keep this, so I have, like, three counters, maybe. Um, I Like, if I just don't die, it's it's probably winning. Maybe I didn't need to do all this, because I had this for, like, the Lotus and stuff. So all I could have is ritual, and I can misstep it, plus negation. Don't hate Ghost Quarter versus Doomsday. Yeah, I don't know. They have like a island as well, right? So, like, they have like one tabernacle maybe. <laughs> yeah. Okay. So I hit Hollow One, which is the clock I needed, and I can also probably just pitch the Bazaar. I don't, I don't need another one because they don't play Wasteland. I draw Wasteland, yeah, I can just pitch. P probably these are enough blue cards, but like the Wasteland's also not very good, so I, I think you can either pitch this or the third master or whatever. I choose to just hold onto the counters because I don't think I can lose otherwise. I probably honestly should have kept the Wasteland because they could like tabernacle me, but like, again, like I can just start drawing like three cards a turn with these and I, I could probably beat it either way. Um, yeah, I could just misstep this. They fluster, which is, I don't care. Let me play land shield. <laughs> so I, I could just mind break trap, and now it's like kind of over. I like, guess matchup is like so good. I, I just didn't need them, need to give them the window to win that, that first game. But And then they play a, a, another threat. And then they, they can see. Yeah, so they only had one Merktide and one Shieldred in their 75, I'm pretty sure. So, like, um, I don't need, like, Fury or Snapback, really. They mold. I have a pretty good hand. Yeah. They lay line plus Island. And, I, yeah, I, I can just get the Hollow one down. And I draw another one, which is kind of cracked. So I, I don't need the Wasteland. Um, like, the Ley Line's not even that good anymore. So I can honestly probably, like, pitch one of these. Probably the green card. And then hold on to, like, three counters, yeah. <laughs> okay, cool. Yeah, so they forced one pitching Thassa's Oracle and have three cards now in hand. And just pass back. We swing just pass like with with this type of game i don't with them ley lining i don't really need to like dig for squeeze or whatever and i only have two hollow ones gone so i'd rather just like wait until i can like use this to turn these cards into like blue cards or something yeah that that, that could be true isaac um i just didn't think like this card at like or noxious would, would come up like, I, breaking up Dooms, that, that might be fair, honestly. I don't know. I felt like if they could answer these with, like, a Tabernacle, I would probably want the Force of Vigor to, like, go to my other game plan of, of valuing them out. But may, maybe it's just another piece of interaction, and that's the only way I can lose. It's possible. 
Let's go. Dude, Bizarre fixes all the hands. Surely. So they console for recall, which is literally the seventh card or something. So they didn't they didn't lose. Um and I get to negation and they they fluster, which is annoying. But there's nothing weird I can do here, really. Um, so I just look for like another force. I miss, but that's okay. It's my Merc type, I believe. Or... Oh, yeah, so I can just counter this, like in case they get like Tabernacle or something. But yeah, they have two cards in hand, but I could actually lose this game because I can only put them to um, to two here. And yeah, I, I don't have anything else in my hand. I have one Noxious, so maybe I can fuck it up. Oh, I just Noxious their Delta to give them one less draw. I think that's, that's just correct. And then they, they don't have anything, two cards. It would have to be like Doomsday plus like Ponder or whatever. All right, but we, we get that match. So I, I threw both of my game ones so far. Parent Akasa. Well, I thought this deck had a better matchup versus the initiative deck than Tinker did. Oh, on console? Wait, why? That seems really bad to me, but. Like, they're at two life, right? If, if they fetch with their Delta, they can't, like, cast the thing. Alright, so easy powder. And they keep seven. Powder again. And we get a good hand. Oh, they're on they're on the Luris. Um, it's either Luris Breach or like Luris Just Guy with no Breach, which I think is actually like the more popular deck now. Even though Kane was doing well with the other ones. Yeah, so I have the Force of Will. I just pitch the snap back. Um. Like, I, I could just discard this or whatever, but like, since they have these baubles and the Luris, I think it's probably worthwhile to just play it. They have enough zero drops in their deck. Yeah, I can just Bizarre first. Um, Cause I already know what I'm playing anyway. So yeah, th this is an interesting spot. I could hold up Force plus Misstep, or I can just, um, like just discard this. I don't know how much like of this matchup is gonna be like a grind fest or something. So I chose to just pitch to the master. Cause I, I don't think I'd like need these both up for like some just guy shitters deck. Um, especially with this I can I can stop the breach combo anyway. Yeah. So I can I can get my value here. And they missed it back, which is fine. Because that means then this is going to go unmisstepped, probably, if they find a Wasteland here. I'm pretty sure they've run like four Wasteland. Or like three in a strip lane. Um, yeah, like again, I can probably just discard these three. Pretty easy. Like, deck sometimes just like kind of plays itself. So they play this guy, which is like, this card sucks. But I still kind of forced it because, like, they're already kind of dying to these, so I don't really need to give them like more time. Um, they do have a Luris, so that, that might be scary in like two turns. But I th I thought I had like enough time to find some more action. Yeah, so they time walk, which is pretty annoying. And they just get the Luris and ending the chalice. Okay, that, that's fine. So now they're setting up for like a good Luris. Um, so I'm I might be a little bit behind here, honestly, but I can find like a force or anything. So drawn to this, um, I could strip mine them off of double white, and they only, they probably have another Tundra, but like they would need to draw another fetch, and they only have two cards right now. So it, I, th I think I would do that always, and it's between like Hollow One and Noxious. Um, just went for the Noxious, because I feel like if, if they waste me at this point, like this is going to beat them already, because they're also not casting Lurus in the same turn, which is probably good. 
I, I used to play Vintage a decent bit, but I don't know, it was just like a good value event, so I just like fucked with it. Yeah, so, so they strip mined me, and I attacked for six. But now, like, I, I can definitely lose, because they, they drew a fetch, or they might have had it, I don't know. Um, into Bobble. And then next turn, they can get back their nerd. So this, this is just going to block this if I attack with it. And they're going to go up to 8, down to 3. So I, I can basically only attack with the hollow one here. So they choose to go for Bobble instead of their 2-1. Um, maybe they had other action. Pretty good. Yeah, they play Arcanist. Yeah, they swords my guy before I can draw a force for turn, and they did it on my upkeep through negation. So that was that was like pretty bad. Now I have like no pressure, but I top like this, so maybe it's still a game. And dude, I actually hit the Giga. Look at this shit. So I, I could discard Master plus Rootwalla, and then Fury it, and I have two spells, and it's lethal. Like this is like <laughs> literally the perfect two cards off a of bizarre top deck too. So like th this is kind of how the tournament went. Like I just like high rolled my way. Like, <laughs> it's literally insane. <laughs> um, okay. I probably shouldn't have won that game, but... <laughs> yeah. Oh, two knock, two knocks in here? Let's go, dude. Yeah, Isaac, it's actually so whitelisted. <laughs> um, yeah, so I powder, I keep... Did I board in, um... Ghost quarter, yeah, I did because they actually have no basic lands, so like it's it's kind of good sometimes, and it can stop their Luris because like Luris is kind of a problem. Like it makes all my root wallets like so dead. <laughs> yeah, that, that that was so sick. Um, yeah. So again, I, I don't really need to counter any mocks in because I don't think they're playing the combo deck at all. So I don't care about that. So they just go wasteland go. Um, and then recall, I have a force, and then they don't force back, so that's good. Um, yeah, I'm just gonna play it now, because I can noxious. Oh, and then I hit these, which is, like, really cracked. So now it gives me, like, insurance. I just keep Fury, because, like, one of the ways I can lose is to, like, some Arcanist or some Ragavan, maybe. Oh, what's up, Jacob? Yeah, so they proved in top one. Uh, don't play anything. I'm pretty sure they all like board out their rag events because I have like eight Ruwalas anyway, so it's not something I can worry about. Yeah, it, it is quiet, but I can't do anything, dude. Like, my mic is just shit. This is like some Hyper X headset, like random bullshit. Uh, yeah, so I activate now in case I find a hollow ones or something. I pitch the wasteland over anything else. Yeah. <laughs> Some chopping, chopping angle. Yeah, so he plays Arcanist, which could actually be pretty annoying. Um, so I'd like to find like a red card if I could. Oh, what's up, Salvato? Dude, what is that emote? Ain't no way. <laughs> Luis won Cheeto. Yeah, so I find the red card. Um, I do have a Vengevine in my graveyard as well. So I can discard like Master, Master, Rubala, and then pitch the Squee probably. Oh, did you used to stream? <laughs> okay. Uh, I can't remember if he forced. He did not force. Okay. So now we're kind of just chilling. We, we can even like pay one for Tabernacle, which they do have. Um, and they play another Arcanist, okay. So this is kind of an interesting spot. Either I can like, get back Wasteland with this, or I can just pay for my guy with it. Um, I can also just Noxious back my own Wasteland for this anyway. Um, I think I don't, I don't really care about these guys at this point. And like, I can make them 
have to pay for their guy, and then I can like misstep the the recall maybe. Like maybe it's bad into like Fluster Storm or something, but I think it just gives me the most chances to like pull ahead here. So I, I don't think I end up paying for my Venge Vine. Because I, I, I need to save these anyway for like Bizarre. Like I'm kind of just like burying them in card advantage already. Oh, what's up, Chris? Uh, yeah, so I do this upkeep to decide, like, it just gives me more information to decide what I actually want to do here, because it's kind of like a hard spot. Um, and I can still Noxious in my upkeep for the draw for turn. So I find a Ghost Quarter, actually, which is kind of good. Now I, now I don't even have to use this, and I can even pay for my Venge Vine. So I pay for my Venge Vine. Now if he attacks, I can, like, misstep the thing plus block. I draw a random Krakus. So he attacks, like, there's a, I mean, I, I can't Noxious, because it just goes to the top anyway, and it's bad versus Fluster always, so I, I have to just go for my misstep line. And they don't have a Fluster, which is good. They waste me, I waste them. Um, I don't need to go for Noxious here, because I just have the Petrified thing. Oh, Max Smith, what's up? That's really tutor. I was thinking about like noxious thing in them here, like for uh they don't really have anything good to noxious, like a bobble maybe. But um they got a cruise. I, I just let them have it. Like I'm I'm already having two master of death, so like if I can just keep this alive, like there's no way I'm gonna get outcarded here. Don't review round nine, dude. Surely not. Surely you won't lose to me. Yeah, so they just cruised for two mana, which is kind of weird, but... Oh, and then they had another tabernacle. But that's fine. You know, mod dude, I don't know how to mod people. I'm a boomer. Farts suck, yep. Oh, this is going way too fast. But now, now I have three guys in the graveyard. And I can go score to them too. So I'm just like kind of winning on all axes. Oh, and then I can get back Venge on here, yeah. So they have three cards, and I know they're not on the combo version either, so like they kind of just have no outs. They can scroll, I think they get like a brainstorm or something, and just main phase it in, cope. Alright, so we win, we're on like 3 or something. Oh, and then I queue into the GOAT. Dude, I, I don't know if I've ever beaten Miharu. He's like actually the GOAT. So I win the die roll, and my hand's actually cracked. So she's probably playing like... Um, both, because that's what she plays in these bigger, bigger events. Yeah, so I find a Vigor too, which is nice. Um, yeah, so I, I can just discard Powder, Powder, plus this probably. Still having three up, or two counters up. That was the goat, yeah. Dude, this is why she's the fucking goat, bro. Look at this shit. So she, she time walks and like, I could counter it, but I don't know. It, it feels kind of bad to counter it. Like maybe I should have just countered it, but like, oh, I, I, I definitely should have countered it. Like you'll see why, but I, I just didn't. Cause I thought, um, like there's no way she has like the nuts. But, like maybe she didn't even have to have the nuts. Like she, she just played Oath and then pyroblasted me and I lost. So like maybe I should have, I don't know. It was weird. I could have, like, countered that. If they force back, then I have the trap, too, which is kind of good. But, um, yeah. And, that, and that, now my force is just fucked, because it happens on their upkeep anyway. So it's just, like, over now. Um, I, I, I'm trying to put, like, guys in play, and then, like, snap back if they hit, like, Niv-Mizzet or some shit. And then maybe I can, like, kill them or something. I, I don't really know. 
Um, they had, they had Grizzle Brand, I'm pretty sure. I should have just snapped back this before they could draw for turn. Or maybe not, because I can draw Force Will or something. Um. Yeah, so I, I hit Vengevine, but I, I can't get it back, so I just save for a turn. And then they just force me in, and I just, I'm just dead. They get the Niv-Mizzet now, dude. Look at how broken this deck is. Like, my, my 7 was actually kind of cracked, but I still lost. But I, I, maybe, it's possible I just threw that match. I'm just kind of the time walk, maybe I have enough time. But still, they're going to do it next turn anyway, and I, I don't think I had enough time. Like, not enough pressure. I would have hit, needed to hit, like, more Venge Vines and stuff. Alright, so I mole. Uh, they mole too. Then I powder. Yeah, yeah, I would have to have a green card, like, right there. The deck's hard to play. The deck's not too hard to play, but it's definitely, like, the hardest bizarre deck to play, I guess. Um, so they, we both mold to five, I think. Oh no. Yeah, we both mold to five, and then I mold to four. Have to powder. And then she keeps her five. Okay, so this is a three, um, which would have like no interaction. So I, I could keep like double squeak. Or I don't actually know what to do. Maybe I cancel this, but like, um, with this I can play this draw two discard three and then just play a hollow one it's probably just what i have to play for like it plays into like oath plus snow forbidden orchard but that's like whatever and i just lotus recall <laughs> like, they're too good dude and then they oko and i just can't even beat this one oko Like, maybe it's close, but... You want a double squee instead? It's possible. I, I don't really know. Um, yeah, so I, I, I have, like, some engine here, but... The problem is I can't kill this thing. Because... Oh, and then they rav-trapped me. Dude, if they didn't rav-trap me, maybe they could have won, but, like... That was kind of sick. Oh, and then they stri <laughs> they stripped mine me. Okay, yeah, this, this, this game went on for a few more turns, but I, I had no odds. Yeah, I, I don't know, like, I, I mold to three. First game was maybe winnable, but in, in the end, they just wanted it more. Yeah. <laughs> Curse, surely. Surely I didn't, like, rip the nuts the last, the last uh, match. So we powder and then mulligan and then powder. good hand so i'm playing at cft sock which my buddy already beat them um they're on like the coveted jewel shit so like maybe this hand could actually lose if they have like the nuts or something but they just time walk i don't counter and then they play saga which is actually kind of scary but i have some like draws mad hands yet yeah yeah we, we we had the uh the one thing where i ripped fury plus like venge vine for the win just guess guy Um, I draw a random, and then I draw a wasteland, which is good. So, so now I'm not going to die in next turn. I had, like, um, Force of Vigor or Wasteland as outs to this, I guess. I, I think they do play Force, but their blue count's low as well. So that's something to keep in mind. Darth Dog is the homie. Oh, and they play another Saga. So, again, I need to find, like, Vigor and Green Card or another Wasteland. Or else I, pr I probably can't kill him fast enough. So of course I draw it. Um, I can attack, offer the trade with one of their tokens. Just seems good. They end up not blocking after they make a guy, I guess. They Lotus. Now their guys are five. But yeah, like with Vigors in my deck, um, I'm not bizarring yet, I guess. Because like... There's no real reason. I mean, I, I guess I could do it on their turn. This seems kind of sus. I don't know why I didn't bizarre, but... 
Maybe I'm just trying to find like one more blue card and then I probably can't lose this game. Cause like, again, they, they can't really like attack me really. So I, I untap draw, they have three cards. Um, I could probably pitch like Ruwala. I don't even need, know if I need this hollow one anymore or the strip mine. Like strip mine's good insurance, but they, they already have two sagas gone. Um, I end up holding on to the strip mine because I feel like that's like one of the only ways I can lose. Yeah, without double waste, I'm dead. Or I could draw like bigger green card or whatever. Yeah, but bizarre to bizarre is like sometimes fine because you can just like look for squeeze and then get ahead. But in the sand, I was trying to turn that one card into like a blue card, I think. The homie Matt. Choi the boy. Yeah, so we're kind of just playing Drago. Th their hand's probably stacked, honestly, but... I, I still don't need to hollow one, like... Like, then I would have to be discarding good cards just to play this, and then I'm, like, down two cards in that exchange. <laughs> Jacob knows about the tournament, dude. Yeah, so they play Mana, Mana Crypt and Ancient Tomb, so that's a lot of damage, so they're probably holding on to those. And they play the Jewel, which I can force. What the, what, what? Oh, they, they skipped one of their turns. Dude, skipping one of their turns with, with this board state is actually broken, because then they can attack me for 14, and then, like, take another turn. And then they hold, have, they have them back on blocks again. So, like, this is actually, like, a good card in this, in this particular game. When you're, like, you can't attack with your big creatures, or else you're gonna get hit back, but it's good if you can't get the blue. <laughs> Matt moment. Yeah, so this is what I was talking about. Um, I I triple block one of them, cause, um, or else I'm just gonna have to be like chumping for the whole game, which is just shit. So I feel like I kind of messed this game up, cause like I don't I don't know how I'm in this spot really, cause like I have nothing going, I have no squeeze in the yard or whatever. But yeah, I, I forced this. And they packed of negation me, dude. What a cherish. And I just look for some random shit, but I I end up just like losing, cause they go off. Like I'm kind of surprised that I lost this game honestly, but um. I, I don't know, like, I couldn't really have put pressure on them because they had two 7-7s. Seven sevens. I think I was just needing to draw, like, a Force of Vigor sooner. Because they, they, they play that really well. They, they set up, like, a sequence that I couldn't actually beat with, like, any of my hands. Which is kind of impressive. Yeah, yeah, it was heads up. That was, probably, that was quite good. <laughs> Jake of his boss, dude. Um, yeah, so we have a fine hand. It needs some stuff, but... Yeah, I'm not gonna counter the crypt. This is all just playing into the trap. And I just choose to mist up this, because it's like, just get my value off that. And then they play Academy. I, they played this. I honestly probably should have trapped that, but I was scared of like losing to something. I don't know. I, I think I probably should have trapped it, honestly. Stifle. Like, I felt like I had the force for the thing to get anyways. Um, but maybe I could lose if the last card's like force blue card or whatever. Boxing. Let's go. Yeah, second bazaar is better here as fodder, I guess. Um, they searched, oh, they, they searched Lotus with this. Oh 
shit, fuck. Oh, and, and then they tutored with the Lotus, because they had three mana. So that was actually insane for me, because if they just got um, the Time Vault, I would have had to Mind Break Trap, and then their last card would have been Tutor. But they, like, spewed one of the Tutor's things on Black Lotus, which is just, like... Yeah, I, I might have actually just lost without it. Yeah, so now, now I can get back two Venge Vines. I'm, I'm holding no counters here. I don't think I could have... I couldn't have Noxious back something for force value because then I'm just down a card. So I just have to hope they whiff for... Oh, I, I, had the, I had the... Yeah, okay. I just Noxious one of their, like, Black Lotuses and they lost. Alright. Game three. Yeah, I think San Diego is going to be lit. But I, I'm going to try to make it to Oakland as well. Yeah, Oakland's the um, Laughing Dragon series thing. It's literally just like an RCQ. Honestly, it's not even that like big, but it's probably just vibes. So they mulliganed, I mull this shit. Um, they mull to five, I have to powder, put back the vigor because it's the best card. Ain't no way. <laughs> um, oh yeah, so yeah. Kashi. Kashi. This is quite good that I have Chalice here. Like, it's. Because it turns this off. They can't, like, play a Mox or something. Since it's, like, Soul Ring. To, to get guys. Um, and then I draw another guy so I can get back to Benjamin here. And I have Force up too. Oh, I have Ancient Tomb that I can spend. So I didn't know if I needed to hold up Ruella this turn. I'm definitely going to... Well, I could either Ghost Quarter this, or... Because I don't, I don't want them to get, like, Pith and Needle, right? So I could either Ghost Quarter, or I can, like, Vigor. But if I Vigor, then they can get two guys. But I can Vigor one of the guys, and they take four off of this. So maybe, in hindsight, I should have just pitched this, this, and, like, Trap or something. I'm not sure. Yeah, the, the guys are literally a 1-1 anyway, I don't, I don't really care about it. I guess this just gives me more cards. Because now I can Ghost Corridor and I still have, like, maybe double counter up. And, like, a Crushing Board stay. And then just keep. Alright. So we're, like, 4-1. Yeah, it's 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 back-to-back -back weeks. Jacob's literally trying to, like, rake everybody into this fucking tournament, bro. Ain't no way. Jacob, can we all stay at your house? Would that be playable? Zoomer house, but it's just fucking Jacob. Alright, so this is another matchup versus initiative. I just forced this easily. He has, like, no results, so I'm pretty sure it's probably, like, some initiative deck or whatever. So it's easy to force. Actually, no, he doesn't result. He, Yeah, this guy... This guy, like, was in a vintage challenge, like, the day before playing initiative. So, like, I'm just gonna force this, because it's the most upside. They do have the mocks anyway. And then this guy. If, if I can just draw a green card, I'm being chilly. I do strip mine, which is actually playable. So I strip that, um, I don't think I get in yet, there's no reason. Um, I, I can end up drawing one here and discarding three if I find a green card off one card, then I can get these two and it's like kind of insane. So I think I go for it. And it's two free. Oh, oh I, I didn't vigor, that's kind of interesting. I definitely fucking should have vigored. I was just thinking maybe they can like, no, no, that, that, was, that was actually horrible, I'm not going to lie. <laughs> yeah, Matt, Matt was definitely next to me, keeping me awake the whole time.
Dude, surely I force a vigor before I take three. Oh no, dude. What, what, what was I even scared of here? Like another box into another one of these? It's just not gonna happen. Alright, whatever. Minus three life. Another copy to go. And then, then they just don't have any lands. Then we have a noxious now if they get their thing back. Oh, and I draw the one fury. So I, I just can't really lose this game. Oh, you're gonna San Diego, Isaac? That's cool. Alright, they, they fucking, they lost. No, no, they don't have Tabernacle, it doesn't really matter. It's game one. Like, any hand with seven in Bazaar is good, because you're gonna get, like, value out of it. Even if the rest of your cards are shit. And this, this hand... This hand can actually lose to like a lot of things. Um, they had the uncolored mocks because they're better. It's time now for another hard hitting event to with Frank yeah, so they just play this. This is not the worst thing. Like, if they played a Spirit of Labyrinth, it's probably much worse. Um, or even like Archon. But I can maybe contest this with my, my guys. So I draw Hollow One, which is actually kind of cracked. Um, yeah, so I, I just put three creatures into play. I, I want to take it back as soon as I can. Cavern Human. And then let's play the four drop. Surely you'll win an LCQ. Mox Emerald on top. You're in the graveyard now. Yeah, so th this is kind of scuffed because, like, this is just going to kill me, like, next turn. Or I guess they already used the, the five life. But. Yeah, so it untaps itself. See, these cards are actually broken. I like need my one fury right now or else I'm kind of fucked. They just play another one. And I'm, I'm just like that. It's good to know that they have peacekeepers in this version. It's another card that's kind of scary. Yeah, so I keep a five lander. But if I hit like any creature, I, I probably just can't lose. And I hit the Giga. So maybe I can save this hollow one in case they go Nackle on one, but I don't know. I, I felt like just playing it's too good. Yeah, they crypt me. Like, this is such a cope. Yep, the Giga. And then this good. And this text on the play is kind of cracked. Yep, Creedy. No, but it's like, if, if they have like Solitude plus like some shitter, like maybe it, maybe I get punished for not doing it like that. Alright, um, I'm gonna play a mole. They keep seven. I just probably bought them. Yeah. Jacob, what do you want about? Oh yeah, it's shops. I was like kind of laughing because this is like so bad. It's like they, they can't even wasteland me or anything. They're just gonna die. But it was Golos shops though, so they, they have Golos for Tabernacle main deck next turn maybe. Yeah, it's it's definitely true. I I, I assume. They didn't have it in their list from the yesterday's challenge, but if they did, that was a bad play. It was probably free to play it no matter what, regardless, probably. Alright, okay, they just pack it in. Like, I was actually maybe dead there to, like, Soul Land plus Golos, but I don't know. Um, okay, game two. Oh, and this is, like, one of the matchups where I didn't really want to face. But I, I thought like this shops deck wouldn't be popular because of initiative probably like fucks it. Like the bad matchups for for this deck are shops and 
like other dredge decks or other bizarre decks, I guess. So I mold to. Multi three. <laughs> Multi two. I'm. Oh, this is three. Okay. Let's go, dude. So I was thinking. So they're on six cards. Which better do you think Squeevine is compared to the regular Pokemon? On Mana Traders, is only 430. Oh, shit. Well, I, I think Squeeze much better because it just has counter spells. So it's much better against, like, Tinker. Um, but they're probably both, like, pretty much equally good against the initiative but I, I just don't want to like lose to random things that would beat the initiative like combo decks so i'd re much rather have the counter spells than like hogax and stuff yeah tinker and doomsday so yeah i'm on i'm on three cards here they're on six on the play so i i, I need to keep this and either both bazaars or i can maybe just keep vigor but like vigor's not even good against like spheres or something because like, I can't even cast itself so I think I just pitch wait yeah I just relied on dude surely is it like bugging or okay yeah. I'm pretty sure I just took like a long ass time to decide but I kept double zard to be better against wasteland I'm gonna draw strip mine, so I just fire that off. Jacob, probably not, man. I gotta, I gotta do something else. Oh, and then I just don't have a land, dude. This is actually how I win, and then I draw the squee. And then I hit another squee. So they play Wasteland now, so part of me doesn't know what to, um, Expect. Like, I don't know if they were holding this or if they top decked it, but holding it just seems bad. But so I, I assume they top decked it and I'm playing as if they did. So I'm assuming they don't have another one, I guess, is what I'm saying. Um, but if, if they do, I, m I might just lose because my hand sucks. But they don't, so I, yeah, this is really good now. Uh, I still can't get back to Venge Vines, but at least I have a hollow one now, with some pressure. So they play book Ghost Quarter. But they they choose to go for this instead of Ghost Quarter me, which I was kind of surprised at, but like I guess it's better into like Noxious Revival, because next turn they can do it, plus Soul Guide my Noxious. Oh, I'm gonna just sack it immediately. So I wasn't I was probably gonna vigor it if they didn't sack it right there. So they probably should have not done it then. Oh, it's a palace. Just double rent. Jacob, no shot. You tell him the secrets, dude. My rental limit? It's like a thousand or something. Wait, wait. What seems risky? Oh, yeah. Oh, the ghost quarter? You would have just ghost quarter? Yeah, that, that, I was much more... I mean, I was very scared of that. But then they just tapped it. So I was like, let's go. Um, but like if I have a noxious, I don't know. Maybe they get punished. But like still, like they, yeah, they they're, they're not they're not winning in this spot either, right? So just gives me more time to find shit. Yeah. Especially like if if they're gonna crack this already, they should probably just go for the ghost quarter instead. Like there's no real reason to, because then you're already always dead to noxious. Yeah, I mean, they, they multi six with probably Saga Waste, like Saga Waste Tabernacle. I mean, it's not the worst. Yeah, so I, I went for this so I can hit them for um, eight, I guess. That means they're always dead to two more creatures. And I can Noxious back one of the hollow ones always, so. Oh, they, that's true, mine, yeah. So that was a good draw. So I, I actually don't know if they've just been ripping like all of these in a row or if they've or if they've been like holding them like super weirdly. I don't know. I'm assuming they just drew them all because the other line doesn't really make sense.
But yeah, anyway, I grabbed that Mozar. I can definitely still lose. Yeah, and then they drew another one, and I was... I was kind of getting tilted, because, like, they've literally drawn, like, four in a row. Now I'm in the spot where I'm, I'm dead to another Ghost Quarter effect. Unless I, like, top deck a Bazaar or something. Um, but, yeah. I just have to hope. And I, I had a force, so, like, I have a lot of angles covered. Yeah, so now I just need to draw one creature and they're dead. Yeah, that's that's definitely fair. Yeah, so I find the shedders and I kill them. Yeah, so that was lucky that I wanted a multi of three, but Again, their hand was like super not proactive at all. Like I probably would have lost just like turn one sphere or something. Because my hand was too bizarre figure. Oh, I, and I tried to farm for the concede because they were five two, but it wasn't even the last round. <laughs> it was so scum. Because I, I literally thought this was a win in the only. So they're on seven again. Dude, it's not scum, bro. I can ask. Yeah, yeah, that was a good mulligan. Any changes? Uh, maybe not. I don't know. Maybe one more Krakus or something. The card's kind of busted. If, if they force my chalice, that means they care about it, so I just force back. Oh, they pitched a time walk, too. They replied, let's play because if I beat you, then I will knock somebody in to top eight instead of you. So, I mean, that's like a fair response. But he said you'll probably beat me anyway. So, he just manifested. Yeah, so they just go island go here. Oh, I'm pretty sure this, this guy's deck was like unplayable. Like, he's probably a really nice guy, but like. Yeah, so I just hold the force. They two are for recall. So I'm hoping they just snap it off on their turn, of course, which they do. Then I think that, yeah, I get blasted. So they're up to five cards. I get in some bizarre activations here. Um, but with, with three guys, I'm not going to do one upkeep anymore. So I, I can actually make use of the two. <laughs> yep, Echo Verona. Nice guy, though, yeah. We'll, we'll, we'll see what they're on. I don't, I don't even remember if this is the guy. I want to call their deck bad, and they're playing, like, Grix's Tinker Breach. It makes me look like an idiot. <laughs> but I'm pretty sure their deck was, like, horrible. As they preordain. Oh, yeah, then they just go next. So I board as if they're, like, blue-red Murktide, I think. Yeah, that's true, Jacob. Yeah, even your noble hierarch lists. All right, so man's good. They go for basic island again. And now, now I know it's not blue red. Um, it's interesting. I guess if it was, it was if it was blue red, I they probably wouldn't have fought over the chalice, right? Physical suited generally. Yeah, sure, I guess. I mean, I, I don't know, I think Blue Red plays one, maybe. But if it's Tinker, my hand's like cracked. Yeah, so I'm, I I know they don't have Wasteland anymore because they're playing this deck. They might have like, they might have like one Strip Mine, so I think I there's merit in keeping this Noxious. But yeah, I, I just had an easy discard. I don't need probably all of the forces up. I have one bigger already.
Dude, I'm telling you, their decks are just bad. Like, it doesn't matter what they keep. What they DT? Yeah, for the. Man, there's potentially I should have forced that, but um, I really didn't think I cared if this happened because I have two one ones. I draw strip mine. Yeah, I just pass. I don't need to. If I'm not activating, I don't need to strip mine either. I don't think because they don't have a strip mine, so it's never gonna be like I have to noxious and play two lands in one turn. So not draw squeeze, so it's good to activate. These two, and then, um, I could probably put back Noxious or something. I just put the trap, I guess. They only have three cards, so, like, yeah, R Rav Trap isn't great. I force a dig. There are three cards again. Oh, then they play this card. And I kind of read it for a bit. But prevent the next one. Yeah, it says this turn. So they can't just like exile their deck and I never be able to kill them. So I just let it go and vigor it, I think. Let it go. Yeah, I, I don't know what Buddy is playing, but we, we take it. Thought lash noises. Hold the root wallet because I have a bench right now. <laughs> Dude, Nathan's fucking shitting on this guy. Dear lord. Uh, I'm 6 1, he's 5 2. But look, their deck was like all air or something. What is their hand like? Force of Wills or something? Yeah, so they need a um, another tabernacle or something. And we win. Alright, round nine, so this is the winner. Yeah, so I knew this guy was on Mono White already from his Goldfish. Um, he molds to five. I'm just gonna try to, to snipe a Mox or something at me, luckily. I do. Rockless. I don't have a blue card, but I can still get six power and it's probably be good. Yeah, so he has Spirit, which is kind of annoying, but... Yeah, I draw a Hollow One. So, if I can... So, ne next turn I can play it after discarding my hand. Which is... Looks like it's going to be the line. They only have one card left as well. Yeah, so... They bounce it back. It's kind of annoying. But I pitch my hand, play the hollow one, and just hope that it's that it's good enough. Um, and then they Ancient Tomb out the season, guys. So this is kind of... It, it's interesting. But I think I should be ahead here. Um, yeah, I, I could just attack with everybody. It's just a good attack. What? I guess like okay, so if he if he double blocks, I'm winning anyway. But if he takes it, basically maybe I want I want these guys around for more turn because he goes to four here, so he's already dead to the um, the trap in a couple turns. I don't know. I, I I guess I felt like maybe I could lose the race, and I, I wanted these to block like the spirit at least. But maybe this was wrong. It, it was probably fun. I, I I know I thought about this for like five minutes and then took this line, so I assume it had to be good. Well, if, well, if I send one, it's just bad into this, right? Like, he'll just block it. Because, like, he, I, I don't think he can block anyway. Like, he, he, he can't double block either, because it's just bad. 
So if, if he can't block anyway, I should send one. And I probably shouldn't send both either. Yeah, so he flips another dungeon master or dungeoneer. So now it's a 6 7. I just loot trying to find like another one of these or something. Or I don't, I don't even know why I looted. I guess it doesn't matter, like, the vigor's not gonna come up, right? That was a long tank, that was a prey. You messed it up? Wait, what? Wait, are you saying I messed it up or no? Yeah, it, it, this is... Oh no, I, I think it's the next game, man. Or maybe it's this, I don't know. We got our opponent in chat, dude. What a goat. Like, I was praying. Oh, okay. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. I'm, yeah, okay. That makes sense. Um, yeah, here I can send everybody, I guess. Because you, you have to block these two anyway. And then this is pro creatures. Oh, yeah. Th this was the insane game. Yeah, I took you off of Krakus so that you can um, have Dungeoneer mana up. Because your hand's Dungeoneer Thalia, and then you, so you top deck the land. And then he, he played this, and I actually thought I was dead because he top decked the land, but this was so, this was actually so sick. So he, he flipped the spell, I thought I was dead, but th the first trigger gives it pro creatures, so the second trigger fizzles, so I don't die. And it was insane. So I only take seven and then I kill him. Like, I, I didn't even know that that was how it worked. I thought I was dead, but we, we take it, I guess. That was kind of an insane game. I, I, I thought it shouldn't have been that close, but like, that, that, he actually, he actually put me on like a two turn clock with that Dungeoneer thing. Yeah, it, it was insane. Okay, so I, I powder, I mull, keep a playable hand. I can lose to like the the palace or the anointed peacekeeper guy here, but he just has a slow hand, which is lucky for me. Um, and yeah, I, I draw a Venshrine root, so I, I just have six power now. Yeah, he plays a guy again, but I if I can find a blue or a red card, he's kind of just dead. Uh, that game one was actually way closer than I thought it should have been, but I guess the deck is kind of scary in that sense. It's my favorite vintage deck. Yeah, I'd, I'd say it is. It has a lot of play to it, I think. And and obviously sometimes you just like roll them over. Yeah, for it. Yeah, it it was like that's what I was saying. Like although I was tired, like it's everybody was tired, so I don't really have like an edge, other than like I used to play like midnight popper challenges so i'm, I'm kind of like used to it but like i i can't really complain about me being tired because everybody was in the same boat all right so uh i didn't know what this guy was on he had no results but so i, I just assumed it was like initiative he picked it up for eternal weekend and i'm on the draw with this hand i've been playing magic for like um like since I was like six or something. Yeah, so I just went after the Mox. Cause I can't, like I'm unfavored into like some like three one draws. I don't remember what the card's called. Yeah, so this is a quarterfinals. Um, they have the Tome which Dude, I didn't even know they ran this card, but this was like insane. But I, I still feel like pretty decent here. Uh, 
Oh yeah, so I just put back a hollow one on top of my deck because I thought I could put enough pressure. And then I draw into Vengevine. So I drew Vengevine for t this for turn and this for my draw. It was like actually like so whitelisted. And this is, I, I was like, dude, I'm gonna win this event, surely. Video with Justin, I don't know. I just go after the white source because he has like palace jailers and stuff. And, like this is already doing him damage anyway. So he's on the saga build, which is interesting. Yeah, so I keep a vigor, I guess, in case I draw a green card in the next like three draws. That's good. Yeah, and their guy's also only a 1-1 here, so it's like, if they're paying 2 life to trade with this, it's gonna crack. Um, I think I just keep the snapback force. And I'm not gonna snapback their guy. Oh yeah, so I, yeah, if, if, if he had this in his hand, he should've just done it main phase. Like, if you're gonna kill it in combat, just do it on their turn. Because I drew into the force and the blue card, so he got super punished. Um, ended up trading going to 6. And you just got another blocker for a turn. Went to two. Played. It's a spirit, yeah. Force a double block. And now he has like one mana because he's double boost mana. And I have a noxious in case he top decks Wayside. So I just put back a hollow one. Okay, that was game one, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, like, I, I always have to keep these hands, but I could definitely lose. But even their worst hate doesn't kill me. I think it has to be, like, um, anointed peacekeeper. Or else, like... Because I can... Maybe beat, well, it's weird. Maybe I can't beat Spirit Labyrinth or Archon. But again, they, they just have the land go, just like the last opponent. Like, I feel like their draws are just like kind of bad both times I've played this matchup, but. Yeah, so they Swords. And then Wasted. Like, their hand is turning out pretty well. Yeah, so I got back upkeep in case they have, like, Fairy Macabre they're drawing to or something. Oh, then they play the Archon. So that's actually pretty good. Like, if, if they if they have another Wasteland here, I, I probably just lose. Oh, and then I top deck Snapback, which just allows me to, like, play more proactively, which is kind of insane. Because now they have to play it again. To take two more damage, but I, I don't draw particularly well off this, um, but it's still fine because I, I I I drew this, so it's good enough. Draw not to keep Spencer. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It it's it's interesting. <laughs> like if your defensive hand contains contains like a wasteland, like it's it's probably good enough. Yeah. Like, I don't know if you were boarding out, like, the initiative package or whatever, but that, that feels like one of the weakest things to do, I guess. Maybe not in turn one or something, but... Yeah, so I hit the Saga. And I hit another snapback here, so I can just do the same thing. In for three, they would go to seven off of this. And I still have... Um... Two squeeze going for a bazaar. Or two bazaars, I guess. Yeah, that's still their just best play that they can do. So I hit a, I hit a creature. 
Now I can probably slip an attack through just because these get worse. Well, then I draw three. This basically like time walked then like three turns in a row because I, I drew like the answer every turn, which was like pretty lucky, but. I was trying to hit like two creatures there randomly for lethal, but it was good enough. Or I guess one creature because I had the fury already. All right, onto the finals or the semifinals. Oh, what's up, Richard? All right, so this guy was on um, a known just guy Luris without breach. I mull, I keep this. I'm on the draw as well. I'm hoping randomly this is live, which it, it will be here probably. Yep. So now they're up to four cards. Um, yeah, so I draw a vigor. I'm, I'm interested in in how this vigor plays out into this. Um, like maybe I can get them off of it. They're only at four cards, so five for turn. Maybe their plan is to like get Lurus back. I mean. Getting Lurus back is kind of kind of scary in this matchup, just based on my hand alone. Um, but yeah, so I end up pitching all my guys and going after it. I need to strip mine, so I'm probably dead. I get the negation that though, that's good. So they have three cards left. Um, I take them off of one of the word sources for Luris. Play Rag Event, but I have the one Fury, so. I'm, I'm holding on, and, th and then I draw Noxious, which is good. Um, I don't know if, I, I mean, I, I'm just gonna do it now to play around Fluster. Like, it plays into Force Negation, but not into Fluster. So they bought him two with that. So I, I, I feel good about them not having Wasteland, probably. Um, but if they do, it is what it is. And yeah, they pass back, and now I feel like I'm in a competitive spot. But again, I, I could still lose if they just draw Wasteland. I get to hit them off their Valkyrie, which is nice. And yeah, now, now it kind of just spirals out. I hold on to my guy because I have uh, one bench mine. I'm just really trying to find like a Noctis or, or like another Bazaar to make sure I have the win. Yeah, and then I then I find the nuts. So that was a little lucky. I drew like Noxious and they they really like just ran out of lands and lost, but uh, we take it. Yeah, this match was insane. Okay, so that like 20 minutes in. They keep seven. And I go to like four immediately. Oh, I mold a three. Holy shit. And then I have to bizarre, or I mean powder. Let's go, dude. So they, they see my hand. And they top two with the ponder, and then this one tops one, which is the card that they topped off the first one. So they have two, they have basically have two good cards in their hand, probably. I don't think they would have topped this. So I, they definitely have like one Wasteland at least. I just activate because like these cards are horrible. Oh, I keep Vigor. I, I was considering going for it, but like there's just no way. I have to play towards them wasting me and getting it back. So maybe I get punished there because they, they played a duration. I don't know, it's, it's weird. Um, and then they ended up not having Waste here. I don't know if, if they actually had it and they weren't scared of what I could do, but they didn't go for it. So I draw Vigor, so now, now I'm pretty happy to just... Oh yeah, they have Recall too. So I, I, I was looking for a Force. Maybe this was just like way too greedy or whatever. I, I probably should have let it go and then like hit these two, but I, I felt like they would have a Counterspell and a, um, and a Wasteland if I just let this resolve or something, and then I was just going to lose either way. 
I don't know why I'm still holding on to this particular card. Like, this card's so bad. Maybe because they have Alpine Moon in their deck? Yeah, they, they, they find the, the Strip Mine. Oh, and I draw another one, so maybe I'm still in this game. Oh, but then they force it again. Yeah, they just have still four cards in it. And if they ever find a land, I just get Lotus Moons. I'm just clicking through this fast because like, I have Miles. Ba basically, I'm just playing for time at this point, but I doubt it's going to matter. I probably should have let them kill me with their last attack because they would have had to target three things as well. Um, but they're on 15 minutes. But, like, this match literally comes down to the wire, so, like, all that extra time, like, that could have been the difference, maybe. Yeah, so I mole, I keep this. And this end's, like, not great, but they don't have, um, ley lines, so it's good. Well, I guess they never have ley line, they have Polaris. I draw a hollow one, so this, this is pretty good for me. I don't need the vigor at this point. Vigor, this card honestly might not even... It's probably not supposed to be in my deck, but, like... So I, I force this, because if I force this, if I don't force it, then I can't really attack, or else they can kind of cantrip into stuff. And there's not much I want to force in this matchup either. It's just like the wastelands that matter. Yeah, so I hold on to this, because like, I'm not really digging for much here, other than like more squeeze. I only played that, and n now my hollow one's kind of bricked. Um... Do I activate here? I don't. Maybe it's close. But like, I think I have four Furies in my deck, so actually having like some cards in my hand, because this, this puts me down a card every time. It's probably reasonable. Oh yeah, so I get rewarded. I get like really rewarded here. And it, they swords my Hollow ones. So now it's like, it's close, but I, I think I'm probably a bit ahead just because I have the Bazaar. The thing is, they have Lurus though, so like, if I give them like, two turns or something, they're probably just gonna like, get back to Arcanist and have Swords up again, it's gonna be pretty bad. And they have Wasteland too. So I upkeep it, hit my own Wasteland, which is actually cracked. Like, now I can take them off of the Tundra. Like, if I didn't draw that, I, I might have just lost in the spot, honestly. The Iteration. Find a Brainstorm. Now they're up to five cards. And they're still not wasting, because I think they're trying to draw, like, obviously waste does nothing with this, but they're trying to draw, like, a land, and then they can, um, go five mana Lurus plus, the thing. But, to be honest, I think they don't have another Tundra, I'm pretty sure. So they would, they would literally have to draw Mox Pearl, or else they can't cast the thing ever. So that's why the, the Wasteland for me is, like, so huge. So that tr draw Chalice, which isn't great. And then I find another Wasteland, which is actually interesting for next turn. It just like secures that they will never be able to cast the thing. So they're up to, yeah, I, I was just hoping they didn't find this, but they had like some looks and they found it. So, and they also have six cards. So I'm probably just dead unless they draw something. Oh, and I ripped it, dude. I'm, I'm too skilled. I just kept force at this point because like, the double white doesn't matter, and I'm getting these back anyway, so... Probably pretty fine. So, they preordained two to the top, and I was just like, fuck. I'm trying to figure out what the second card is. It, maybe it's just like a force or something, or like a noxious revival. Which I do draw. Like, that's why this game's insane. But then they flustered out of my force, which is just, like, kind of sad. Another preordain, they, they top two again. They cast a fourth one, bottom two. And they have five cards left. So, at, at this point, I realized I'm not going to win. Um, so, I have to time them out, because they're on seven minutes. Like, there's literally no way I can win. 
the thing is, oh, and then they drop Black Lotus for their thing, for their Luris. So I, I have to force and hope they don't have double counter or else I'm, I'm dead. So they ha hard cast one and I counter again and they, luckily they don't have another counter. The thing I realized is they don't have Ragavans in their deck anymore because they cut them because I'm playing eight Ruwalas and they're bad. So at this point, I'm pretty sure they have like one, like maybe one more of these guys and which also they may have cut some and like three Arcanists or just two Arcanists left because I already have one here. So they have like three like one threes in their deck to kill me really. And this whole time that they're they're can tripping and taking time off their clock.
walls, let's see if I actually hit you. No, I don't, okay, never mind. Oh, oh that, oh that's the thing. Okay, I didn't kill his land, is what I did with the wasteland. Because I was playing around Tabernacle as one of the cards he could have, because he didn't cast anything off the Lotus, which I was like, what could, what could you have, right? Um, so I was just insured against the Tabernacle when I keep my board. So he plays Lavinia, so I, I got rewarded for fighting over it last turn, the Lotus. Um, yeah, I, I mean, I basically am drawing to like more like wastelands or my one Krakus to, to deal with this, or else I literally just have to kill him with what's on board. So I get in, he fetches, plays a vamp, and I like, I waste this. Dude, I don't know why I did this. It's like, I was like, okay, there's no way he's gonna vamp for Tabernacle because I have a wasteland in play. Um, so then I wanna take him off of like swords, because he could have tutored for swords. If cause if he swords Vengevine, then this just blocks my board and he can't he can't lose. So I was like he definitely tutored for swords, right? Because he didn't think I was gonna wasteland. So it was like a mind game, but like he just played the fucking thing. I think what ended up happening is he tutored for this and he had the, the tabernacle. But either way I got like really punished. Um but, dude, look at it. Look at this top deck right here. I draw wasteland. It was like insane because I can waste the underground sea. He has to sack this. Like the tabernacle actually killed his own guy. It was so sick. And then, and then my vigor's turned on. I vigor both of these, and I'm winning because he has no cards in hand. It was just like so sick. So in the end, I didn't really get punished for blowing up the Tundra because I took him off the lands anyway. Yeah, it, it, it was so insane. Game goes on a bit. Like, it actually goes on for a long time because I can't find creatures to close it out. So yeah, so I forced that or else he gets back like Lavinia. I, I literally still can't kill this guy. Like, I end up finding the shit and he loses because I'm gonna get back pretty fast fans. But yeah, that, that game was kind of insane. Like, if I didn't draw the Wasteland, I mean, he, he still had to draw something before I drew Wasteland, to be fair, but um, yeah, I was, I was lucky. Oh, I have to watch the third match. Yeah, the third match was just insane. Just for all the marbles. He kept he kept seven, I have to powder. And okay, like I have to keep this. But um yeah, this is literally my only interaction. But like I, I you you can't you just can't hold his hands. They are a tinker deck, so I'm dead to like turn one tinker. Like I'm dead to a lot of things, honestly, but they have the, the Lavinia off the box, so I was kind of just tilting because I, I, my only out here is Krakus basically, and I have one. Then they cast this, so now now I can't root wall ever um, to trigger um, Venge Vines or whatever. Cause like my two plans here are cast spells to get back Venge Vine, or find one Krakus. Yeah, it, th this tournament was like insane at the end. Like just timing that guy out last round, I was like still full of adrenaline. But now I have two bazaars going, so it's like I can definitely like find, like I'm I can find the Krakus maybe like soon. I'm just hoping it's like not in like the bottom like third of my deck or like 15 cards or whatever. But also like if he if he ever just like finds anything, I'm just dead. The thing is, I I, I do have these for sagas, so I can beat sagas. But, yeah, so he, he crips me, so maybe I can't filter through as fast anymore. Well, no, I, I, cause I can still cast hollow ones to trigger Benjamin with, Def with Teferia. 
So then I hit two Venge Vines, and I'm like, okay, maybe I have something to play towards. I was hoping I hit a Hollow One. If I hit a Hollow One right here, I could have actually just cast two of them. They both get countered. And then I could, like, kill the Tevet. Like, it was actually close because he has he has four cards in hand still, but, like, his cards are probably, like, Force of Worlds or something. He plays Time Vault, so now he's an out, or, like, any tutor is an out. Uh, any tutor was already probably an out, though. So yeah, so Hollow One or Caracas is what I need to find, and I, I just keep breaking, which just gives him time. Like, I don't I, to be honest, I don't know how I'm not dead though yet. It's kind of insane. Like his hand has to just be like all the wrong cards. Yeah, so I chose not to get back one of them. I want to stay at nine because this this could kill me in four turns if this happens. Yeah, and I miss again. Oh, what's up, Logan? You came right as the game three is happening, the finals. Yeah, so his hand's probably Force of Wills, plus like, maybe an Urza Saga or a Tabernacle or something. Yeah, yeah, I did. <laughs> so like this is the turn where I yeah so I, I I find it I play them into it get back two guys I, I actually I definitely should have played this like activated again in case I hit another one like that was just horrible unless I didn't have any left but yeah I, I still had two left that was horrible So one at Teferi, just to deny more cards. Um. So Cage. So I literally faded it by one turn, dude. It was insane. If he played that one turn earlier, I, I was probably blocked or something. Oh yeah, both went Tef. I, I was putting on swords as well, I guess. And I just wanted to kill this to not give him more draws. That was a good call by you. Um, I don't know how many I took back to my hand with these masters. Did I just keep them all in the yard? I guess I did. Like, there's there's not really any point. Because I, I, I still can't cast any spells. So, like... Basically, what I have to calculate is what's my best hand after I draw Caracas. That, that's all that really matters. Because I can actually not cast any of these spells right now. So, I, I draw it eventually. It was the 16th card in my deck. Um, now I can either keep a force or a, another, like, either one of the forces, probably. And I just go for the vigor because it's more proactive. Like, I, I, obviously he has, he has, like, a force in his hand, but I just have to... Yeah, so I fire this off right now, going after these. Like, this is his white mana. Obviously, it doesn't matter if he plays the Lavinia, but, like, for swords and stuff. And then this is, like, his scariest thing um because maybe at this point i can beat like a tinker for citadel because i have pressure but i can't beat a tinker for key so obviously just force pitch force yeah he brainstormed so now he has five cards left um and cruised up to six now i just got all my guys back because i don't care about my life I just want to find as many, like, as much interaction as I can this turn. Or, like, a random lethal with Vengevines. Um, I don't, but I actually find Ghost Quarter, which is cheeky. So I get in for eight. And now I just hit both of his lands. I know he doesn't play another island, so I can take him off both blue sources, and I still have Krakus to pay for one of these if he has a tabernacle. And that's lethal because he's at two. And I force again. It's he forces into force and he scoops after after he thinks. It was like insane that I won this game. I was like screaming. Have I played vintage? Oh, paper vintage. Uh, No, just for like proxies. Not like actual shit. 
But yeah, that, that was like an insane game. And like the game before that was also insane because I timed him out. Like it was like a roller coaster of emotions. Yeah, yeah I, I woke I woke my parents up because I was like screaming. <laughs> but you know, you, you gotta do what you gotta do. Um, yeah, I don't know. That's that's how I won. It was sick. <laughs> I, I don't really know like if I have any tips. I guess my main tip would just be like keep your mind focused between your matches. Like right before the top eight started, I went and got some air, walked down to like this beach, cause I had some time. Um, if you keep your mind like focused, then like, yeah, you, you're gonna stay sharp for the next matches. And like, I, I was talking to my friends between the matches too. Like Matt and Luca, they're, they're in the chat. So they, they definitely helped. And also draw the crocus. Dude, it was it was in the bottom of my deck, dude, come on. But I, 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 I won that game cause my opponent like got like, very unlucky and didn't have anything do your eagle thing <laughs> true yeah yeah that was sick um all right well thanks for watching that was that was fun to cover um i'm still very happy that i won still trying to sell my whatever i can for as much money as i can but we'll we'll see what comes of that um all right take it easy guys thanks for watching